Hi, my name is Mike, and today I've got a message from the Prophecy 444 News channel called First Fruits Governing Body and the Choices of the Left Behind, given to Sister Julie Weedby. Uh, it was posted on the Prophecy 444 News site on the uh, uh, 26th of May 2019. <laughs> Google this. Right, uh, this is the word given. All those who are made in my image have been given choices. Purposes have been ordained and desires of my heart have been placed within. It is up to each one to choose to serve me and obey, to choose to manifest my life's example here on earth, or to refuse invitation to be glorified eternal life with one's creator. We have placed each one here for a specific role and sanctified those my Father have given me for his will. Those who have been chosen are those who answer the call on their lives and come to call on me as their Messiah. Within this vast group of those who come to know me in this t lifetime, there are specific groups. The outcome of their destiny is determined by the degree of their surrendered lives. Those who have fully surrendered and given over their lives and their entire being, heart, mind and soul and will have been sealed first and will be taken by me first as a first fruits harvest, preceding the much larger group who have allowed the desires and distractions of this world to hold their interests, focus and priority. This first very small group comprises my jewels who will translate and enter into glory ahead of the rest. This group will be rewarded accordingly as they have learned the obedience and discipline in their lives through following my example and through the trials. Suffering and refining they have endured. I tell you this now. This group's reward comes quickly now. The time is upon you. This group is expecting me now and has made her garments clean in holiness, repentance and humility. Within this first group, those who have completed the task they were given will stay with me during the great tribulation on earth and not be required any further service here. There is another part of this first fruits group whose lives have been the training ground for their final assignments and I will translate them as a testimony of my glory which will be granted as a gift to the much larger group. As the world plunges into darkness under the beast system, they will minister from a time, performing great exploits in my name. They will glorify me as they present themselves to those in the valley of decision, testifying of my love for all my creation. Then I will bring them home. Those in this larger group, often referred to as those left behind, will still be afforded many graces, although they were not ready for my coming either earlier. They too are a sealed group, having accepted me as Messiah and will move forward under great trials by fire, persecution and suffering, in order that they receive the reward that is available to them. Greater sacrifice by the laying down of one's life sooner will yield a greater honour in my kingdom. I have gifts and crowns to give all those who choose me in this life. But it's up to you the level of glory I reveal to you and the rewards you receive. Those who have chosen me sooner are those who are granted to be my governing body and will rule and reign with me in my kingdom as mature sons and daughters who inherit the authority, power and rulership that my Father has given me. The larger group who also receive my sealing will then be presented with choices of service to me. Within this group will be many who will be given the opportunity to lay down their lives for me. But for them, by this time, it will mean their physical death by martyrdom. These will receive a great reward for this ultimate sacrifice as those who have gone before them have received. They too will enter immortality with me. Those who remain faithful through the darkness under the beast's control but who are not required to lay down their lives will enter immortality, be translated, glorified, raptured, 
when I come for this group, and although they will not be comprised of my governing body, will remain to live in peace and harmony during a thousand year millennium reign on earth. The level of intimacy we share now in this life determines your position in my kingdom. Once understood, this revelation will help many who are having difficulty choosing the direction and choices that have and will be presented to them. Just as I have said, in my Father's house are many mansions. All that is spoken in my word has many layers of meaning and revelation. Again, to those who are intimate with me, I reveal the secret mysteries. I am not interested in lip service to me, just as I do not honour or reward vain sacrifices and traditions of men. You are about to suddenly see that without intimacy, your religious practices are dead in spirit. Religion, charities and organisations dedicate to good works, anything led by man and man's desires, and who does not carry my spirit within is dead. I cannot emphasise this enough. Come out of the Babylonian system, come out of the world of those who have chosen are not of this world, just as I was not of this world. Hear what my spirit is speaking to you. Many are called, few are chosen. Every single choice you make each day determines your eternal destiny. Does this sink in with you at all? You are walking a path that results in a determined outcome that cannot be reversed. After you leave this earth, why would you choose to accept anything less than the full outpouring of my blessings for you? Because you chose very poorly in the here and now. I am limitless, and all that is of me is offered to you. What greater gift could there be? I implore you, take these my words to heart, meditate deeply on everything I am revealing to you. I have so much more to share with you than what you have perceived. Come to me and pray for revelation and wisdom, as I give freely to all who ask and all who seek of me with all their heart. Choices for many of you reading this may be made this instant, because judgment is certain here and now, now here and many will enter this day into eternal separation or eternal glory with me. If these words have not pricked your heart, if you are not convicted of all that has been spoken, if you go back, go from here back to your comfortably numb state of being, if you still have the first for entertainment and the ways of this world, continue to be indoctrinated and programmed, then there is nothing more your Creator and Father can say to you, is, is there? I love you beyond measure, but I force no one to, re to return that love. What a man sows he will reap. The reaping is begun. The har great harvester comes with all his heavenly host mustered for battle. My sword of truth cuts asunder, Yeshua. And there's some scriptures given, uh, which you could uh, read here. John um, chapter 17. As is given here as well. So if you can read that, John chapter 17, Revelation 7 3, Daniel 11 32, Joel 3 14, 1 Corinthians 9 24 to 25, Revelation chapter 21 to 6, uh, that's about the seals, and Revelation 6 9 to 11, and Romans 8 14 19. And it goes on as well as quite a few scriptures there. So if you want to go to the site and uh, check out all the scriptures there. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so now in prayer and repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.